Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Super Cali, aka Mike, and I'm bringing you another exciting episode of Life is Strange. We're playing episode 4, The Dark Room. I cut it off real quick in the last episode because I didn't realize how long it had run already. Um, we're still in the Prescott. Uh, Prescott. We're still in the Price family home. We're going upstairs to get something for Chloe. Maybe Joyce will be up here, or maybe Joyce is working. I'm not even sure. I wonder what her room looks like like this was her room before so oh that's so sad we were just in here like in the last episode and this was her room it's been her room and it's just gone now toys I kind of want to open this and see what's in here what is that? Oh, crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. And she can't walk? That's so freaking sad. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry that I can't help you with the loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills please give chloe a hug and my best wishes love aunt dorothy wait is dorothy a prescott are they related to the prescott no 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 that that comment she just made made me think like they're related to the prescotts like are they actually i never heard much about william's brother Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up, and I'm being sent to do sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is. Work is these days. I'm so bad at like a freaking <laughs> reading cursive. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Monday is. Monday is nobody's favorite thing. Oh, money is nobody's favorite thing. I can't even freaking read. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. I should have just said the read thing so I could just read the actual text. I don't know why I make it so hard on myself. At least we never had to hide from step douche. Thank God. A blue butterfly? <gasps> I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I'm sure it's not a total coincidence. We're gonna sit on the stool and just... I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. I'm sure I you are. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Oh. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Max and her thoughts. Deep, deep thoughts. Can I just get up at any time now, or... I can, yeah, okay, I can get up any time. <laughs> I'm stalling, no. I'm, I'm stalling for dramatic effect, if anything. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Okay. We can get out of here, this is depressing. I don't know what these rooms are. Here's the bathroom. Is it, is it in here? It's so dark in here, though. Like, why is it so dark? I feel like someone's gonna pop out and, like, freaking kill me right now. I thought it was here. Oh, I can turn it on. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Let's search the drawer. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Like, what the hell? I thought it was in the... Oh, the cabinet. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Ah, uh, yeah, more medicine. There it is. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. 
Poor Max, I cannot even imagine. Let's shut the light switch off, because they, they people can't afford all this, uh, <laughs> electricity. Same poster. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? I wouldn't mind living Arcadia Bay. I think it'd be pretty. Let's look at their room. Oh, Joyce is in here. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Hold on, Joyce. I have to look at all your shit before I can look. I can talk to you. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. One of the parents. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Interesting. <laughs> um, picture. <gasps> Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Nope. They really don't. What else can I snoop around and look at? Oh, a letter. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath this accounts for her okay i did i wrote i read that in the wrong tone sorry as a doctor i'm committed to her well-being but i want you to understand that the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries your daughter is one of the bravest strongest patients i've ever had and i'm proud to be working with her i just want you i just want you as a parent to prepare for any and all possibility I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. It would... It... If, <laughs> if you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best, Dr. Anton Fibs. That, from the Spinal Center, Arcadia Bay. So basically what they're saying is, she's dying. Like, she's not going to live forever like that. It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. Hmm. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Of course. Joyce is already a super mom. Super mom and super dad. Okay, let's see what Joyce has to say. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Let's talk about Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... <sighs> she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good. I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. <laughs> Let's talk about her. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. That's for sure. A lot of work. Evo Havoc. David Madsen. Let's talk about Evo Havoc, I guess. So, Eco Havoc, not Evo. What do you think is going on here with all of this Eco Havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. A lot of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? 
I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. <laughs> David Do you Madsen. know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just... He's not cute, though. Curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. William's still the same. Chloe and William. Um. Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Joyce is the best, let's be honest. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. Okay, let's bring this medicine to Chloe. Apparently the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Max must be internally screaming today. I know I would be. I mean, shit. Saves... Saves Chloe's father. Puts... Makes Chloe paralyzed and basically she's dying. Like, how do you even compare those two things? We're back with Chloe. Here you go, girl. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Where would it be, in the drawer? Oh, uh, wait, when I look in the... It's right wow, there. Chloe was a straight-A student. She could have gone to any college. Mm-hmm. What a report card. And she went to Blackwell Academy. And so, originally, she got kicked out for all of her bad behavior. But this one, because of the accident, she's paralyzed. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Okay, let's read this letter from the stupid principal. <clears throat> Blackmail Blackwell Academy, the 8th of August, 2011. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, As principal, I am in sympathy with your n numerous qu requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class, and class accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americas with Disabilities Act. However, given that the compliance under the oh, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessarily necessary for to fulfill all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education. It will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but the day but that day will come. Chloe is without a 
without doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap and i believe she would ha she would find a more fitting rewarding scholarship environment environmental at the h western miskatonic institute in Bolton. they have a rich legacy of disabled graduates and i know that chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings with her outstanding gpa there is no doubt that Miss Ketonic would would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you seriously consider the suggestion, as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I've also enclosed brochures for other potential schools in Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Sincerely, Principal Wells. I hate you. We hate you. You suck. Get out of here. Ugh. It makes me so mad. What's in this one? Wow, sir. Oh, it's what the same a thing. bastard! I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit font. Photo album. Let's see what's inside. Time to get mushy. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn page. I'm like, which one is it? I don't have a mouse. Well, I mean, I have a mouse, but I'm not using Whoa, it. Oh, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Don't get, don't get feelsy. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... What are you thinking? Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Mm. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No, 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 do not ask us to kill you right now. God freaking damn it, Chloe, why, why are you doing this? No, 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 no. I'm not killing her. No, 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 I can't. I don't care if she wants it or not. Oh my god. I'm not freaking killing her. That'd be freaking terrible. No, I. We can still fix it, right? Oh my god. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't. I can't. I can't even look at the screen right now. I'm like covering my face. <sighs> I'm refusing. Like, shh. Hell no. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will. Mm. I, I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. 
And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. <laughs> Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. We're doing it again? Are you? Oh no, not this again. Use L and R to focus on the photo. Okay, I don't even remember how I did this the last time. Okay, if I... Oh, come on, focus! I got it. Oh god. It's happening again. We're going frickin' back in time. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Again with being back in frickin' time. What are we doing? Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh my god, why are we do why is this happening? Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Oh, God. Well, at least we're fixing everything, I guess. Oh, no. Everything's gonna change back into being shitty. Oh. Oh. That means Dave is gonna be the step douche again. God damn it. No, don't be David. Ugh. Great, now I have to deal with him again, too. That's the thing that kills her. And... Now it's just her being rebellious. Oh, there's the car that crashed. Who's that? Wait, who is that? Is that Rachel Amber? And there's her in the wheelchair. And now it's just her, uh, Nathan and her from the first episode. Everything's going back to normal. Wait, what are they doing? Oh my god, what happened? What's going on? I'm, I'm like, nervous. Oh, is this like all their... Oh, it's like their, um... All the information that they've collected. 
You did it, Max. You changed everything back. Chloe! You're back! Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss and now you're all over me? I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. <sighs> okay. This reality is way better. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I wouldn't. Am I supposed to like get up or no? We're just looking at things. We've been doing lots of research since the episode break and it's changing time. I'm waiting for something to happen. I wish we would tell Chloe what happened, because then at least we can be like, Listen, Chloe, even if I did change, things would still be awful. Just more awful for you than before. Okay, can I get up or something? Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Okay, guys, so that's me for this episode. Oh my god, thank god things are back to normal. I was freaking out for so long, and I didn't think we'd ever be able to fix everything. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Life is Strange. Be kind to of one another, and bye, guys!